What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Trench Grenade channel. I'm your host, the Gym Enjoyer, okay, that your mom said that we have at home. Today, we're going to be discussing physical fitness. So we always talk about, okay, if you're not fit, you're going to die. Go to the gym, touch grass, all the things, right? Well, today, I'm going to actually break down part one of a three-part series on how to actually, how I do my strength training. Now, I'm going to caveat this. I am not a physical trainer. I am not, you know, any sort of crazy credentialed person when it comes to powerlifting, bodybuilding, anything like that. I'm just a dude that likes to go to the gym and I happen to have a YouTube channel. Okay. So that is kind of like the basis of where I'm coming from. Um, the reason or the purpose and drive to make this three part series. Okay. It shouldn't be too much work, but I want to make it because the guys in the discord and in the comment sections, y'all are always asking the same thing. Oh, how do I get into the gym? What, what's their, um, your workout breakdown, you know, things like that. And they'll be saying things like, Oh, I'm going to hit chest and buys today or i'm gonna hit and they're saying like crazy breakdowns like they're gonna hit chest and back today or something so i'm just gonna give you my advice and my the way that i go to the gym kind of some uh, sops and ttps that i use okay um when going to the gym and what keeps me motivated and sane to stay in the gym and keep uh coming back okay so ground rules in the comment section don't get crazy with it okay if if my workout breakdown is different than yours cool, right? It's not a competition. In the end, you just want to be generally physically fit. You should be able to run two miles. You know what I mean? Probably in under 15 minutes, you should be able to throw, you know, a ball over your head. What is the starting to sound like? You should be able to do a deadlift, a sprint drag carry, right? You should be, you shouldn't just be jacked out of your mind. And you shouldn't just be a runner either. You got to find a middle point where you are actually physically fit and functionally, functionally physically fit. So before I get too far, Check out the description below. The sponsor of today's video is Palmetto State Armory and Magpul. Palmetto State Armory, they always have daily deals. If you need a good dagger or um, an AR-15 or something like that, get down there. Check out the link below for Palmetto State Armory. Check out their daily deal. Additionally, Magpul, okay, if you need slings, eyewear, okay, uh, four, four grips, uh, furniture for your rifles, you name it, you know, P-Mags, get down there. Check out the link below, and they will uh, square you guys away. Anything over $75 is free shipping right now. Okay, additionally, the Patreon is $5 a month. If you want buddies to train with and to game with, check out the Patreon. Uh, it gets you direct access. It's only $5 a month. It gets you direct access to the freaking Discord server where you can get buddies to train with and to game with. Okay, now let's talk about just day one. So you're going to the gym. What are you going to need? You're going to need your headphones, okay? Um, it's almost mandatory to have your headphones, okay? Uh, I use Bose headphones. Um, so make sure you get your headphones uh, in, in your Mystery Ranch pack or whatever pack you got, okay? Additionally, you're going to need a shaker cup. Here's what headphones I use, guys. Boom. Bose. Noise canceling, okay? So you're going to need your Bose headphones, and you're going to need a shaker cup. Boom. Then you're going to need your pre-workout and your creatine. I recommend you take it <clears throat> right before you start your cardio is when I recommend you take your uh, pre-workout slash creatine. I do take them together. Okay. And when I say cardio guys, I'm not going for a run today. I typically won't go for a run during my actual strength training workout. I'll do that throughout my day, uh, for my job. Right. So, uh, you take, take your pre-workout right before you start. Okay. And I typically will walk a mile on the treadmill. Okay. Um, you know, do some editing, do some YouTube and whatever, um, study some modules, do something while I walk my mile. Or you can row for 10 minutes and then walk a half mile, whichever one works best for you. The reason I do my cardio uh, or my steps in the beginning of my workout is so that way I don't get lazy near the end after I do my strength training. Then after you do your uh, 15 minutes walk, okay, then you're just going to get into flat bench. It's going to go in this order for chest and tries. And we're going to show it all in a second, hopefully in the gym. Flat bench, okay, straight bar with four sets of 8 to 12 reps. If you want to get uh, bigger, then you need to cut your your rep range down, but that I recommend you do that after you kind of get uh, used to that range of motion and time under tension. You know, maybe not your first time in the gym, and yeah, so just figure out where your strengths and weaknesses are there. After you do your flat bench, then we're going to go over to cable uh, pull downs, okay, with the rope or with the rope pull downs. It's just going to be tricep extensions with the rope stopping at ninety. Um, after we do our tricep extension with the rope, same thing, four sets of twelve. We're going to move over to incline. It's going to be four sets of 12. You're noticing 
um, four sets of eight to 12, I should say, eight to 12 reps, four sets. And that's going to be consistent throughout the workout, okay? Four sets, eight to 12 reps. It should be challenging near the end. Make sure you're not going too heavy too quick and kind of gauge your body. Um, after we do our incline press, then we're going to go over and do skull crushers with the easy bar slash curl bar. Um, same rule will apply. Then we're going to do our chest press with dumbbells on a bench, okay? Um, focusing on isolating your chest. And the last thing we're going to do is overhead tricep uh, extensions with the dumbbell. If you're feeling froggy and you still have a little bit left and you want to go crazy with it, well, then you can do your machine weight, okay, um, on straight uh, chest press with machine weight. Guys, that's going to be just your typical chest and try day. Uh, try not to church it up or make it anything crazy because you want this to be quick and repeatable. Because remember, you only have an hour and 15 minutes in the gym uh, every time. So that's their 15 minutes of cardio and an hour of actual training. You want it to be consistent and repeatable. That way you can do this exercise, uh, this workout twice a week because you want to hit chest and tries. Typically, I'll hit chest and tries on Monday, back and buys on Tuesday, legs on Wednesday, then repeat. Sunday's off. Okay, today is Sunday. I'm going to lift on Sunday because I have training going on at work. So I want to make sure I actually get in this lift. Guys, and also, and the last thing I'll say before we start this lift, listen to your body. If you feel your body, if you feel like you need a recovery day, then take one. Like right now, I got a weird wrist thing going on uh, with my uh, non-firing hand, okay? So if you got to listen to your body. I took yesterday off. Um, we're going to test it out today. I'm having a little bit of grip issue and grip strength issue, but make sure you listen to your body. If you feel like you need a recovery day, then just take one because longevity is going to be better than pushing yourself to failure and hurting yourself, okay, short term. You, this is a long game. For those of you that have been in the gym, you know what I'm talking about. For those of you that are just getting into the gym, the gym is a long battle. It's a years and years of effort and proper dieting and actually eating the right, uh, eating the right things and doing the right lifts. Okay. Um, and it's also a community. It's a community thing. Okay. So hold your buddies accountable, get in the gym and make sure you actually listen to your body. All right, guys, we're going to get in here. We're going to start lifting. I'll try to show you uh, each major exercise This again, this is going to be chest and try day, um, day one. And let me know what y'all think. And let me know if this uh, video helped you and, uh, what AR comments you have going into back and by day next. All right, guys, I'm going to start popping this pre-workout and we're going to get in here and start lifting. Cheers. Nothing discussed in today's video should be taken as legal advice or as a substitute for legal advice. Always remember the four rules of firearm safety. Treat your weapon as if it is loaded at all times. Keep your finger straight off the trigger until you're ready to engage. Be aware of your target and its surroundings and never point your weapon at anything you don't intend to destroy. The Discord server is live. Get in there, get some gaming buddies and some buddies to train with. The Patreon is live. It is the only source of funding for the channel. It, if, if you're interested in it, get over there and check out the Patreon. We could sure use your help. Thanks.
All right guys, so we're back in the Ultimate Ultima, and this is just gonna be a in summary of the video and a conclusion. One thing I forgot to mention, make sure you're actually drinking your protein um, at some point throughout the day. I typically do it within an hour of finishing my workout. So in summary guys, today we talked about chest and tries, um, the breakdown of the video. Guys, reminder about the Patreon, $5 a month, and all the links below is basically the only uh, force of funding for the channel because YouTube has basically demonetized us. Additionally, if even one person was motivated to go to the gym or do something positive today to get uh, healthier and actually, or if you got a buddy, if this, if this video motivated your buddy because you sent it to him or her and it got them into the gym and doing the right thing, well, comment down below, shoot me a DM and let me know, hey, Trench, your gym video actually motivated me because um, if even one of you gets motivated to go to the gym from this video, then guess what? I'm gonna do the back and by video and the leg video because I don't care if this video gets one view or a million views, as long as one person realizes they need to make a change, get into the gym because if you're not fit, you're gonna die, like Garantham always says. All right, guys, have a good week. Let me know what uh, thoughts you have on uh, this workout. Let me know what you do differently and let me know if this motivated you to get into the gym and make a positive change. All right, guys. Drink your protein. Cheers. Trent Grenade is signing out.